welcome to our uh, couples Q&A. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Okay, so I got a lot of questions from you guys. So I'm just gonna go through them and then we answer them. Okay, what was your first impression of each other? You start. Okay, so when we started dating or when we met each other, it was all set up by me by checking a guest list for a party and I managed to place her next to me. And my first impression was that she was really hot and then I was trying to be all mature and say hi and like, hey, I'm you. But she was more interested in the party. So she's like, have a shot. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm gonna do work tomorrow. I'll have your shot. So first impression was she didn't really care about me at all. She was more interested in the party and that she was really hot. Thanks, love. Uh, truth. Okay, so my first impression was, oh, that's a cute guy. And then I thought he was boring because he didn't want to take shots with me. And then the, <laughs> the second, it was nice. I liked you then. Yeah. Okay, next question. What's your best tip for a distance relationship? I would probably say, I don't know, we always had a distance relationship. But now we spend more time together. Yeah. The key thing is not to worry. Exactly. Just chill. Like, you don't have to talk. 24 times a day. How often do we talk on the phone? Once every every other day or every we three days. Text. text, hello, how are you? I don't know, I'm not a phone person. No, me neither. I'm like so happy you're not. <laughs> so we both like to text. Yeah, just At the beginning you tried Skype, but I don't like Skype. But yeah, just live your life, enjoy it, and then you're happy when you see the, each other. That was really bad tips. No, that's the only tip. <laughs> it's the only solution. <laughs> Well, next question. Sorry, distance relationship, people. What place on earth would you like to live for the rest of your life? I don't know. We haven't figured it out yet. Well, I haven't figured it out yet. No, we had the discussion trying to figure out uh, where would we want to live, looking at the entire world map. and But we have a... I mean, we like Mo Monaco. Yeah. Marbella. Yeah. LA. Yeah. And I, I'd say those are the only three places that we've kind of... Yeah, considered. but every, every time he goes somewhere, like Hawaii, he wanted to live there. Now, I still do. <laughs> Indonesia, you wanted to live there? I still do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we'll see. I think in the end, Yanni will decide. How do you do with your... Do you have a split economy? Or how do you do? I don't know, should we say we have... We don't have a split... Or what do you say, shared economy? Yeah. We share... We pay half-half on this apartment. And you pay your tickets, I pay my flight tickets. Sometimes I pay yours and sometimes you pay mine. Yeah, it's like we're, we don't separate money. I yeah. spend a lot more money yeah. on like if we want to go somewhere and I'm like, let's do business. And she's like, no, that's stupid to pay money for a business ticket. So I spend more money, but we kind of share everything. Yeah, we don't have a plan. No, we just go with it. When the <laughs> bank account's empty, rough luck, hope you, hopefully you still have some. How is it to spend time with Marcus all the time and not have any alone time? What do you mean? Who's, annoying. Who's <laughs> <laughs> oh my, he's still here. <laughs> he's always here. Yeah, I mean, I don't think about it too much. No, I think Yanni's a really cool girl. I don't think many girl friends would put up with having a random cameraman on the couch <laughs> in a 30 meter. Well, he's not meter. random, he's like family, you know? Well, yeah, but yeah. still. He's like dirty and sweaty <laughs> and hairy. Yeah, but then I tell him, go have a shower, Marcus, you smell. Yeah, and then he helps her... her um, out with editing and stuff and well if we wouldn't travel it would be probably hard but since yeah. we travel and when we travel we usually have separate rooms and stuff like that uh, and then we come to Monaco then of course it's tight here but yeah Monaco is not the best place to be three people in their apartment but it works yeah we're constantly like we wake up at six work and then we work until we like die and fall asleep so and I always get my alone time with myself every morning I go for an hour morning walk that's my alone time yeah, so... And we get a long time, sometimes. Yeah. We go down to the beach for 45 minutes. Yeah, here and there. <laughs> no, it's like, I mean, it, it's, it's since we travel, it works. Yeah. And we like Marcus. Yes. What's the best thing with each other? You start. I have to think. The best thing with Yanni is that she is not jealous. She's simple. She doesn't complicate things. And that is one of her best things, but it's also sometimes not the best thing. Why? She's real simple, but sometimes you want her to like, at least seem like she cares a bit what I'm doing or something. I do care. Yeah. Okay, so the best thing about you, I can't pick. No, no, you have to. It's I a Q&A. 
Yeah, but if I say everything, that's an answer. That's her answer. I'm like, I'm try always trying to ask her things. I'm like, what do you, what do you prefer mostly? Like, no, I like it all. It's great. Yeah, I'm simple. No, but I like that you're always so nice to everyone. You think? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> That was a great compliment. Okay, next question is almost, yeah. Are you jealous? No. No. How has your relationship changed during the years? Has it changed? I don't think so. No, maybe that I can travel more. Yeah. No. Uh, okay, how we first met. But I think we told this story like a hundred thousand times. Yeah, and I kind of said that it was a- Yeah, at a nightclub, you know, organized everything. It was all, like us dating was all me. 100% effort from my side. Yeah. But you did do the Facebook friend request, which I was really happy about. <laughs> but besides that, it was my effort. I flew around Europe to try to catch her. And you did. And here we are. Yeah, good thing. What is it, four and a half years, almost five. Yeah, it's five in like a month. Oh my God. Where do you think you will live the day you have a family? It's kind of the similar same. to the yes, yeah. other one, but. We don't know. If Probably had, not in this apartment. You had to put a million <laughs> euros right now on where you'd want to live. Which place would you put it on? Like anywhere in the world? Yeah. No, right now I would probably say Marbella. I because like Marbella. my dad lives there almost and my sister spends a lot of time there. The it's only, all because of family. Yeah, but they don't have surfing. I have a really fun question here. Who's the boss in your relationship? Yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed to answer? Who's the boss? <laughs> Tell them. No. Yanni is the boss. Happy wife, happy life. Good. <laughs> Do you want to get married? Yeah. Not now. Thanks. I'm not sure this is the right guy. No. Yeah. Do you want to get married? You didn't answer. That's why I said uh, not now because otherwise... Yeah. Be yeah, marriage seems fun. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out if it's the right girl. So if you want to get married, do you want to get married in a church? Nah. Doesn't matter. I uh, prefer a beach. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere super tropical, warm, and not with shady weather. Yeah. Am I invited? Yes. <laughs> you will you're be the, the best. You're the... No, you'll be the bridesmaid. <laughs> He's the official film. wedding vlogger. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> you can Keep be a wedding filmer. Day off, please. Not, Not even the wedding day. Not my husband 37, my <laughs> wedding on the beach. Oh, so that's how many years he's waiting. I have a question. Yeah? What's your best memory together? I just read the same question, how sick is that? Our best memory together. Best, can we scroll through Instagram? <laughs> uh, see, I think of just like the, the early memories for some reason. Yeah, me too, why? Like, the two memories I remember is driving from here to Innsbruck. Yeah, me too, when it, I got super sick, so yeah. that's not a good memory for me. In like a shitty rental car, we got busted by the police for speeding. Yeah. I told Yanni at the gas station, we're like, we're approaching the gas station, figure out if you wanna go to the bathroom or if you wanna eat. And if you wanna eat, don't grab anything warm because that takes too long. So how she ended up continuing to date me is a miracle. I don't know if that's a good memory, but it is a strong memory. Yeah. A strong memory for me was when I had your uh, surprise party when you tur turned 30. Yeah, I probably don't have strong memories from <laughs> there because there was a lot of shots involved. So memory, very short memory of that. It was really fun though. I yeah. had no idea that it was a surprise party. So do we have any other, like the best memory? I, do, I, I think of another road trip when we first drove from here to uh, Munich yeah. in a Lambo and I was so tired. I asked her like, do you think you could drive this thing? She's like, yeah, no problem. So I fall asleep, I wake up and we're doing like 180. She's like popping tunes and you had these cool sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah, you're really cool. You have a lot of memories, but we don't remember them. No. Do you miss Sweden a lot? I miss no, I mean, I haven't, I've been living here for, what is it, four months? And I haven't been a lot in Sweden for the last five years, I would say. I mostly miss my family. I can't say I miss Sweden. Maybe f food in Sweden? I was gonna say family, yes. And food. Kalles Caviar. Like the Swedish food stores. And Kanel Bulle and Max and Sibylla Burgers. Yeah, we miss some parts on Swe of Sweden. Yeah, and the kebab pizza in Lidingö. <coughs> Water. 
How you doing, Laura? I don't know. How do you feel about starting a family? Do you want kids? Yes, I want two. Me too. A girl and a boy. You too. Perfect. But you can never decide. That that's what I want. How soon do you want them? Question for me. I don't know, maybe two years? Three? Yeah. Yeah? I'm good. <laughs> I just do what I'm told. <laughs> Who were you in school? Like the cool guy or the shy guy? I was a sporty guy who played with kids that were three or four years younger than me. That's and sweet. I was not the cool guy at all. I really wanted to be cool, but I wasn't. So I think I, you're cool. I don't think she would have liked me when I was younger. I would. She would have been like in the cool group. It feels weird to say I'm, I was in the cool group. But I had a lot of friends, but we were always nice to everyone. But so. you were in the cool group. If you say cool group. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Any tips of becoming cool? Believe in yourself. Always. So you're saying I was insecure? No, oh, I don't know. I didn't know you back then. No, I think I was. So. <laughs> I worried a lot. I'm like, am I going to look cool now? Like. Yeah? Yeah, and you probably didn't care at all. No. Guess not. Okay, next question. Do you have nicknames for each other? I always call you Love. You, you don't have a nickname for me, but you never say my name. I have called you by a nickname a few times. What was that? Nino. Yeah. <laughs> you stopped How cute that. is Nino? Why did you stop? No, I do it sometimes. Yeah? Um, yeah, and she's also called Yanid. No. <laughs> yes. Which place do you prefer the most? Marbella or Monaco? Tough it's one. It's like different. Yeah, it's totally different. It's Marbella nice to... is more pool family, chill, and this is more... Simple. Feel, yeah, and it feels more like a city in some way. I don't know why, even though we had the beach outside. I think the biggest difference for me is that in Marbella, I have a house to take care of, yeah. water, pumps that are breaking, uh, gardeners to talk to and pools, and here you lock the door and you walk away. Yeah, that's nice. So I, I'd say that's kind of the biggest difference. Yeah. It, it's all about who you have around. Like yeah. if you had the same people here in, in Marbella, It'd be, it would be the same. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever get tired of filming, taking photos, and edit everything you do every day? Is it always fun, or how do you find the motivation? It's of course not always fun. Sometimes I really don't feel like taking photos, edit photos, be in the videos, and photos is easier because then you can just say like, no, I'm not gonna take photos today. Yeah. I since you do daily vlogs, I don't know. You just have to find motivation. It's always motivating when you read comments and you get feedback. That's what it's all about, I would say. Yeah, I mean, I'd say photos are easier because you can take a couple photos and you... A video is like a full day commitment. So yeah. video is uh, most of the time super fun and like going to Bali and seeing all these cool places, yeah. we have all the memories saved on YouTube, exactly. which is awesome. But then sometimes if you're on the computer the whole day, it's really hard. It's kind of a nightmare because yeah. you're like, I need to work, but I need to do a video and I don't want to make people disappointed. Yeah. So how do you find motivation? You see you committed to it and that's why you do it every day. My motivation is that I don't want to disappoint people. I want people to push play and be excited yeah. and stoked. Yeah. And I'm always critical on myself, even with skiing. Like I always thought I was a bad skier and with YouTube, yeah, just critical. So I guess I find the motivation in the fact that I don't want to suck. So a lot of questions about Marcus and privacy. Yeah. Is Marcus going to be with you for the rest of your life until you die? How are your yes. families going to work together? We're going to adopt him. We oh just my God, how is this going to work together? Yeah, we're going to have like a... I'm going to bring my family and you're going to bring <laughs> yours. And then we one big happy family. Yeah, yeah. We, we can get kids that'll be assistants with like the sound guy. And someone commented, will Marcus be the nanny? Of course. Who, who's going to the gonna edit the videos then? The kids. The kids. Okay, so we started a vlog with no plan. We still don't really have a plan. We're just going day by day. Always thinking that in, in like a week, life is going to be chill and we're going to set a plan. And we've said that for the last hundred days, so. <laughs> yeah, we like No plan. Maybe getting an additional apartment in Monaco is a good start. Yeah. No, but I think that would be smart to make it uh, more of a sustainable solution for a long time. Like we're all workaholics. We're all on the computer anyway, so. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Oh, or when Marcus gets sick of us. Yeah, we didn't even think of that. <laughs> you just was thinking about the other way around. Me getting sick of me. <laughs> okay, next question. How are you so positive? I don't know. I just I always think that you only live once, so you should do the best 
of it. I don't know if that's why. I'm not always positive, but most of the time. Yeah, you're, you're good at not over analyzing and thinking. Like, yeah. she's really good at just like, if life is good, she enjoys life. Yeah. If my life is good, I'll probably think of a 19 things that I think that I could do to make it better. If you're happy, life is more fun. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, I have two, three questions, three more and then we're done, okay? We have to do this again because I have like 200 comments. Here we go. You guys seem so relaxed with each other. Do you ever fight? And if yes, what about? Do we ever fight? It's a simple answer to this one. What? We only get in arguments when if we're shooting you're photos. Wrong. No, when we're shooting photos. Yeah, that's the only thing we argue about. Yeah, and when we're shooting photos, I'm always right, but Yanni doesn't think so. So then no, sometimes because I'm always you. right. Yeah. Okay, so photos, that's you the only understand. time you understand. <laughs> but otherwise, no. No. How long did it take for you to, to get into being a couple? Like nine days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was, yeah, that's it was probably my best memory when I think about it. Yeah, I think we you were here. flew down here. Yeah, we were here, and then you asked me, so... Are we dating now? <laughs> yeah, something like that. And I said, yeah, okay. Why not? Yeah, so that's probably my best memory. I just remember that we were in Monaco and we decided that we were dating. Um, how do the vlogs affect your relationship? Do you have enough privacy in couple time? I guess it's similar, but yeah. I wouldn't really say that it affects it really. No. I mean, it's like any work. You have to go to work and do what you do for a living. It's work. Yanni's taking a million photos all the time and when I want to eat that delicious food, I have to wait. So it's like, it's all about, you know, a, a mutual... Yeah, I think it would be different if I had a job, like, in an office, and then when I came home, there was a camera in my face. Yeah. Like, that would be different, but I'm kind of in the same job. Yeah. And, and like, social media, photos... And we take a lot of photos, yeah. help you with photos, so it's like, you're right, if we would, if you or I would have had a completely different work... Yeah, then it would be... That would be probably be a, a problem. Yeah. So luckily, we work with kind of the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, last question. This is actually a good one. Where in the world would you like to travel in the future? I have so many places I want to go to. Yeah, I mean, we have the, the luxury of being able to travel pretty much everywhere. So we yeah. have traveled a lot, which is really cool. But then the world is big, so. I have one place I want to go. I want to go to Bora Bora. Me too. I want to go to Bora Bora. I want to go to the Maldives. I want to go to uh, BVI. I want to go to Singapore. I have so many places I want to go to. Remember, I'm, I'm quite a bit older than you and I've been to a lot of places. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, that's a good question too. How old are you? It's eight years difference. Yeah, I'm younger, clearly. I'm 26. 34. 34. I was about to say 33. But you're not anymore. Yeah, I'm starting to get old. No, you're not old. I'm a really old vlogger. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was it for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. It was fun. Yeah, it's fun just talking away. Yeah. It's like a little therapy session with the camera. <laughs> but yeah, we need to prepare for New York. Where we're going tomorrow. Yeah. That Did we I say that? No. No. <laughs> we booked it. So Yanni was going. I'm going there for fashion week. And uh, last night I was like, what are we going to do? So we booked a ticket to fly with her tomorrow morning. So, so I don't have to fly alone. Kind of last minute. So we can spend more time together. Yeah. Yeah, we're not really having a long distance relationship anymore. <laughs> I like it. But it's going to be really fun. Yeah. So I will see you in New York next time. Ciao! <laughs> Did ah. I hold your hands so you couldn't do the double wave? Ciao!